how did Father Kaiser come in my life is an interesting question. I think I was already working, so I had somewhat of a profile, and, and I got a call. Hey, do you want to do this show for this priest? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? And he said, you know, Father Kaiser. Oh, Father Kaiser. I've heard about Father Kaiser. Because some friends of mine had done some of the insight episodes for Father Kaiser. Working for Father Kaiser was unlike working for anyone else. It just was different. I mean, number one, you're working for a priest. Number two, the production company was a religious order. And number three, they didn't pay anything, right? I mean, they did, but... I'm sure everybody's favorite stories, because this is what Ed Bagley and I have talked about recently, was how could you turn down Father Kaiser when he wanted the check back? He would hold it out there, and you're like, I don't know, should I reach my hand out? Because he would just hold it. He wouldn't like push it toward you. He would just kind of hold it. And then you get the idea, oh, oh he doesn't really want to give that check up. So, and then he would say something like, you know, you can take this check if you really need it. But if you don't really need it, you could donate it back and we would put it to good use. So, I mean, it was really hard because sometimes I was broke and, and sometimes I was okay. So I, I actually did both. I, I do remember saying, it's okay, please keep the check. And then I remember another time I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> it just, I yeah, think he was very shocked. <laughs> just, I was like, hey, I'm sorry. It's, you know, I got to donate to me right now. He was good. He was good. He could have been a great salesman. He could have been a used car salesman and done extraordinarily well, but he had a higher call. He was very, very much present and very much involved. He didn't just hire you and then he went away. He was on the set, as well as I remember. He was on the set the whole time. And he was encouraging and insightful. And I kind of remember him talking to me and others about, you know, what would this person feel? and. And how would this person, you know, react? And and because my specialty at that time was teenagers with problems, whether it was a, a drug addiction or alcoholism or doing things you shouldn't be doing at that age, that was like my specialty. So when people had uh, that kind of role, they'd go, okay, I'll get Lee Purcell. You know, she really, she can really play those pitiful wretched, you know, young, young girls really well. The thing about uh, the Insight and uh, productions and was that the scripts were so good and that was unexpected. And we were all really young and, but we could still recognize a good script. So on my first Insight episode, which I think was the Penny Arcade one, I met a lot of great great young actors, because Father Kaiser had an eye for talent. I mean, that was known. And it was kind of like if you were approached by Father Kaiser to do an insight, it was kind of like a nice tap on the shoulder, like, oh, it was a validation. Because everybody that did insight was good. I mean, everybody. You look at the list of the people, they were all good. And like, the other inside I did, or one of them, Rue McClanahan, who went on to do Golden Girls and a hundred other things. She played my mother, and John Randolph, who was a fabulous character actor, played my grandfather. So working with Rue McClanahan when she played my mother in, in an episode of Insight was great. I mean, it was Rue McClanahan. What's not to like? She was brilliant. And working with Rue was just, I just remember it being a tremendous amount of fun. Because she was, she'd just do anything. And that was great, because I was the same way. So we were pretty well suited as mother and daughter. John Randolph, of course, to me, he was ancient. I don't know how old he was, maybe 50. 
Uh, but to me, he was ancient because he was also playing my grandfather. He was a brilliant actor. He was very, he was famous. You know, he was a very well-known actor with a huge career. And he came back and did Insight. And then another Insight I did was with Jamie Cromwell. And of course, Jamie went on to be nominated for Oscars. And he's a wonderful actor as well. Why would an actress or an actor do an, do an Insight episode when you could be doing something that gave you a lot more money or maybe more recognition, more fame? Well, they only lasted a few days, so then you could do whatever you wanted to do after or before. But, um, you know, there is such a thing as acting for a higher purpose. And... And those shows were like that. They weren't boring morality plays or preaching. Uh, they were real life situations. And then how do you resolve them? Insight was an anomaly. It was very unusual that it even existed. How did it exist? Because of Father Kaiser. <laughs>